Okay, so you prepared for the interview. You practice really hard. And after four or five rounds of discussions, you are selected. The only pending step is the salary negotiation. What should you do? What should you ask for? Should it be a percent? Should it be a number? Or should you just say, as per the company norms? Now, I can understand there would be some nervousness in negotiating about your salary. But don't worry, in this video, I will share some simple tips on how to negotiate your salary with the HR confidently. See, negotiation is an art and negotiating for your salary is a very important step in your career. It can significantly improve your lifestyle, your personal goals and also your financial aspirations. But before I share the tips, let me talk a little bit about the budget part. So how does HR get the budget? How do they arrive at a number? Let's take an example. Let's say a hiring manager is looking for five SEO specialists with a range of maybe two to four years of experience. Every position has a range has a budget so let's say in this case let's assume it's four to six lakhs now for four to six lakhs they would take the median which is five lakhs five positions so 25 lakhs ballpark would be the budget now hr must utilize this budget and get the right candidates for this role now the next question you'll ask is will everyone join at five lakhs the answer is no they would join based on their experience, based on their current package, based on their skill set. So if someone is at 3 lakhs, they might jo join at maybe 4, 4.25. Or if someone is at 4.5, they might join at 6 lakhs. The balancing act is done by the HR. They are experts on this. The other aspect is internal parity. So let's understand what internal parity means. So if the existing team salary is between let's say 3.5 to 6.5 lakh rupees, then they cannot really get someone above that unless the person has done really well in the interview and the person is like an outlier, the hiring manager really wants that person only then they would have an exception. Otherwise, they have to look at the internal team parity because those guys are there for years. They cannot really get someone at a very high package. That would disturb the equation. So let's jump into the tips. First things first, do your research. So research salaries for your role, your experience, your skill set, right? Look at the average salaries that are being paid in the market companies which are similar to yours industry which you are in you can use some sites like indeed monster salary.com you'll get a fair understanding about what the slab or what the range is and where you are and what the gap is now this will be a very good starting point for you to arrive at a number you know what could be your expected salary right and the second step is to practice your pitch so this is typically how the conversation will go congratulations you have been selected for the role and we are ready to offer you so these are typically what the questions would be what is your current salary what is your CTC are there any incentives do you get anything over and above your CTC so be very clear, be very specific on what your total CTC is, what is the variable component, how much you get take home in hand, is there a shift allowance, what about transport, is there a quarterly incentive, are there stock options, RSUs, anything which is over and above the CTC, add it and talk about it in your discussion. Be confident and articulate what your expectations are and also give a rationale behind why you're talking about that number. Highlight your skills, your achievements, 
talk about the value that you will bring to the organization. See, when you're having a discussion with the HR about your salary, it's good to aim high, but also be realistic. Know your worth very well. And with that, we move on to the third tip. Don't be afraid to negotiate. Do not agree to anything that you feel you are not worth. So before you share your expectations, your number, you can always ask the HR, just wanted to understand what is the budget for the position. Try it. If you get to know, then you can work around that, right? But if not, then you can say that I did my research, I did my study and I understand for this kind of role, this kind of skill set and the experience that I have, the range is between X to Y. And then you can say that I am expecting a little below Y and give a number and then give your rationale behind it. Talk about, you know, uh, why you're expecting that. Maybe if you're due for a hike in your existing organization, then you can call that out. And uh, don't look at just the number. Look at maybe the bonus element or the incentive structure or the holiday plan or the vacation policy they have. And also look at the growth opportunity. It's very important to understand what kind of role it is and what kind of exposure you will get, how it will help in your long-term career and be practical about it. Have an open mind, you know, don't be stuck on, on something. And the fourth one, very important, take the right decision. Weigh the pros and cons. If it's a permanent remote working, then you will save on the commute. You will save on the rent if you're from another city, right? Or if it is moving to another city, then you will spend more on rent, on food, on the other stuff, right? So consider all of this. And if you have a number, don't be very rigid about the number. See, you know, how much you can come down to. And if it doesn't match your worst case scenario, then be open to decline the offer politely. You know, thank them for their time, thank them for the offer. And you can be very honest about it. You can say that, you know, this is what I was expecting, but unfortunately it didn't match my expectations and thank you for your time and you can walk out that's absolutely okay you know do not short sell yourself do not look desperate have confidence in yourself believe in yourself and here is a bonus tip on what not to do everyone who's actively interviewing please do not get into the shopping mode now you have an offer from company A and you're still interviewing with company B and then you'll tell company B that, hey, this is the offer that I have. Can you bump it up? And company B will give you another offer and you will take that offer and go back to company A and say, hey, I have a counter offer. Don't do that. That's not professional. In my opinion, that's not what you should do because the company is trusting and giving you an offer and then you're kind of getting into the shopping mode. So don't do that. And anyways, there's this musical chairs which is going on in the industry, right? Company A person is jumping at a 30% hike in company B. Company B person is jumping on a 30% hike on co with company C. Company C, the person is jumping to company A. It's just like musical chair, right? So that is happening in the industry. That is a challenge in the industry. I hope these tips help you in any way to get a better offer, a better salary, which makes you happy. All the very best. Good luck. Do share this video with people who need it. And if you find these tips of any value, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more career advice and tips on navigating the job market successfully. Thank you so much for watching.